What is up, everyone? We are back with chapter six, and this is just about where we left off in the last video. Hope you guys are enjoying this series, by the way. I'm going to stay quiet for the rest of this cutscene. This is a long one. But this mission is badass. It's one of my favorite missions in the game. I'm going to shut up right now. Max. Wake up, Max. Come on. Get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Ela se estava aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy? Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot! This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the emperor. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm 
Commandant Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk. Now, both of you. <gasps> All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got him. What am I doing? This is old school difficulty. What the fuck? Did I just break this game? <laughs> oh! Okay, that was not, uh... That was not good. Alright, one more time. Let's do a roll, GTA 5 style. Oh my. Oh, hell yeah, look at all this fucking... Carnage. Ooh, let's get the Glock. I think that guy's dead. Get a leg shot in here. Shoot his. Oh! Sir! Don't you. Oh! Yeah! Don't you fucking. Oh, god damn it. Down behind the desk. Now, both of you. God, I suck. Run up with this bitch. Ugh. Ooh, face destroyed. Dead. Take some cover. Blind fire. Oh. Sir, shoot his legs up. Yeah, get on the floor. Oh, what? Oh, ooh. Right in the forehead. God, I suck so much. Now, both of you. Oh god, he's not dead. Oh lord. Oh shit, I forgot about that guy. He's down, he's down. God, get out of the fucking glass. Let's get the Glock. Right, let's play tactically. Take some cover. Take out this guy. There we go. Yeah, keep walking, keep dancing. <laughs> Max! Max! Yeah, it's safe, come on. All right, we finally did that after, like, what, four tries? Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go, come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. All right, let's find some painkillers before we go here. And also, let's take some time to appreciate these glass physics right here. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh my fucking god, are you serious? Lord Jesus. Oh, I fucked that guy up. Let's just do this, like, bullet time the whole way. Ugh. I try not to use bullet time because it's just fucking too easy. And, uh, let's get the last bullet on this guy. Oh, oh I did get him. Shoot him right in the dick. There we go. I could have done that the first time, but see? It's just so anticlimactic. I'm Next. skipping this. The real security guards had been run off, Good Lord. off, or bumped Yeah, let's off. appreciate the glass yeah, physics. <laughs> It wasn't a fantastically comfortable thought. God damn. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's pretty nice. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of soothing in a weird way. Oh. Alright. Let's get some painkillers. That was the office Victor used at Fabricast Bronco. Okay. Thank you, Max. Block. Alright, I don't think there's any, any painkillers here. Over here, Max! Rifle. This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Oh, oh Lord. Eh, uh, we're 
running low on the rifle ammo. Uh, oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Boom, bitch! God, did I just like miss okay? every shot? No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. Okay, that was such an awkward little cutscene thing. I'm going to puke if we stay here much longer. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Some painkillers. I'm a self-righteous pain in the ass, but I'm not above embezzling office supplies. Hey, the server room is just past those cubicles. Oh, this part's a bitch. Poor nerd. <laughs> These clowns Hello, are the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. <laughs> Are they just looking for another payday, or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Hmm. Oh, what? Did they like hear me or some shit? Oh, let's go. Oh, this guy's creeping up. Oh, I got him good. Oh, see what I mean? They're coming. Uh, all right, all right, Mr. Afro Man. Let me just chill next to you for a sec. Don't panic. Alright, let's just chill here. Oh, 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 oh! Jesus Christ. Man, ammo. Oh no, this guy's fucked! Oh, he's done. Okay, note to self don't take cover next to the. to that guy. I don't want to expose my head too much, because then. Oh, suck. Alright. Oh! Blind fire, bitch. Whoa. Ooh! Right in the eyeball. Oh, man, that was fucking graphic. Alright, well, you gotta... Fuck it, dual wield now. Classic Max. Sometimes the best strategy in this game is to just... Play like a reckless, mindless, suicidal, alcoholic, drug addict like Max Payne. <laughs> uh, hey, we did it. Let's get my rifle back. <laughs> I can pick this guy up. Hey, Baldy. Oh, you're gonna lunge a grenade? At oh, fuck, take cover. God damn. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of f bombs in this video. Yeah, I creep your head up so I can execute you. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're good to go. Let's get that server back <laughs> online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless, but I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just, I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Oh God. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. On 
this. He's got like bent down like that. Nice. He's got most of them. Be slow. Use crouch. Hey, by the way, I don't know if I told you this, but crouch isn't in GTA 5 at all. <laughs> I got a comment earlier. I was reading comments. Some guys like, dude, you mentioned that GTA 5 doesn't have crouch in every video. <laughs> I'm gonna make it like a tradition. I'm gonna say it at least once in every part. GTA 5 does not have a crouch option. Oh, I fucked him up. Oh, what? This is actually, in my opinion, the hardest mission on old school difficulty. I would say the airport mission is, but it's honestly pretty easy. The only hard part is the like, last part, and we'll. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Oh god, there's a guy right there. Oh my god, they are all over me. Oh, hell yeah. You bitch. That's right, that's right. Flying fire you too. Ooh. Just a single ball to the head. I mean look at this though, it's amazing. They're actually like flanking me and stuff. You could replay this checkpoint like ten times and it'll be different every time. That's the genius of the AI system in this. But it's also a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's right, run into my bullet. Broken glass, blood, carnage. I mean, for a PS3 game, this this looks amazing. Hasn't aged a bit. Max. All right, dude. All right, all right. Let me gather supplies here. Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Right, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that All was right. worth. I know there's painkillers in here, so let's go grab that. I'd woken up with a headache, and it was only getting worse. Ah, oh, damn. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Uh, oh 
shit. Uh. Not gonna lie, my controller was on my lap. <laughs> nice, got them all. Nice, got them all. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, let's get this guy. Oh, God, he's fucking me up. Pills, pills. Nice, got him. Right. Oh, God. All right. It like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. Ooh, let's pick up this gun. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew yes. there was another way in upstairs for the helipad. The little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. Blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. I guess you could say if Max wasn't an alcoholic, he'd probably be dead. <laughs> Tried to open the liquor bottle and fucking drop the picture. Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. You know, I mean, a lot of Max Payne fans, like, 
they're kind of like mad because no you know Remedy didn't make this, but all this, unless the place was made of gasoline, this whole joint must have been rigged. But this is Rockstar, you know, they fucking wrote this whole thing, and they just did such a good job. The, the dialogue is so fuck. Oh, I had to man. make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. Fuck you, dude. Oh, I killed that kid. Oh god. Oh. Ooh, right in the eye again. The right eye. Fuck. Get the fuck over there. Thank god you can switch shoulders. Another feature that is not in GTA 5, by the way. But to be fair, you couldn't switch shoulders in GTA 4 either. Oh, man. I cannot get this guy. Just bullet time the whole time. Here we go. Boink. There we go. Am I seeing anyone else? Oh, shit. Rodrigo or not, Fabricas Bronco is falling apart quite literally. Oh. Uh, despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. Yeah, right before he could reload. Am I not like suffocated to death right now? So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change. But I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? Came to kill you! Because what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where is Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her. Up to you. 
Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Rodrigo Branco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here. Max is trying to be a change man, shaving his head, not drinking. And that was a pretty badass mission. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. Peace.